still gaudy and ostentatious, valuing wealth and the lavish spending of it, still convinced of their central importance in Faroon, their innate selfishness and superiority has been shattered. Hello and welcome back to another Realms Lore episode. I am here with the original creator of the Forgotten Realms himself, Mr. Ed Greenwood. And the title for the script when he sent it to me, Ed, was Nobles, Nobles Everywhere and Not a Drop to Drink. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, they, they do lots of drinking. It's conspicuous consumption because we're talking about Sembia, mm. the land of fat, rich merchants. And these nobles are self-proclaimed nobles. So what we're really talking about is the hoity-toity ones and what they're doing right now in now in realms time so know thy nobles before they cut you dead in the street if you're enjoying these realms lore videos please be sure to check out the patreon that's patreon.com slash ed greenwood and your support there is actually what allows us to continue making these videos for you here so it would be very appreciated and go ahead and become a protector of the realms and but for now please enjoy this video on nobles of sembia nobles nobles everywhere Know thy Sembian nobles in 1499 TR. Sembia today. Right now, Sembia looks very like the Sembia of old, that is, pre-spell plague, but the core attitude of its populace has changed. Still gaudy and ostentatious, valuing wealth and the lavish spending of it, still convinced of their central importance in Faroon, their innate selfishness and superiority has been shattered. Despite their hitherto selfish, me first, my coins foremost nature, Sembians want to recapture the greatness that was stolen from us by the Netherese occupation and despoiling that ended abruptly in the destruction of the floating city of Sultansar in 1487 DR. Sembians have come to see the benefits of acting together and it's tempered the selfishness of their pride. They now see the value of being Sembian rather than just assuming it. Yet their very rebuilding success has meant that to the wider world, Sembia remains the land of fat, rich merchants with illusions of importance. To visitors, including spies looking quite closely, Sembia in 1499 DR very closely resembles the Sembia of the mid-1300s DR. The capital is once more Ordulan, a city rebuilt with wider streets and taller towers than before. Efforts were made to avoid slums, with construction grand everywhere, so even Ord shopkeepers and carters live in magnificent buildings. It is a city that shouts wealth and importance. It's rare to see a building of less than three stories. There are even trees in the heart of the city. On the verges of the realm, Serb is firmly Sembian, as many bureaucrats from the central government fled there when the mercenaries hired by Sultanthar started marauding, and most have stayed. New grand buildings have arisen there too, and Sembia still has its nobles. Some old coin families rebounded after the Thultansen occupation, but many of today's nobles are classic new money, nose in the air, arrogant, big time, splashy spenders. And the problem for a sage or chronicler with Sembian nobility is their self-style. That is, anyone with wealth or nerve enough can call themselves noble and might get away with it. Over the years, many have, including a fair number of charlatans who adopt the surname of a currently prominent noble house and pretend to be a part of it, sometimes even accusing the real nobles of being impostors. So there's never been any clear, agreed-upon roster of Sembian noble houses. Moreover, most of the wealthier nobles have a country estate, hunting lodge or feasting house or food farm or horse breeding ranch or some combination of those in upcountry, that is northern, Sembia, and houses or rented out business premises in most of Sembia's cities. 
with a luxurious mansion in at least one. So it's hard to say where any Sambian noble family is based, especially when they have internal feuds and each side claims, claims to be either the only legitimate branch of the family or the senior branch. And you can find bastard or black sheep sons and daughters and nephews and nieces cast off to live alone or with lower born companions just about anywhere in the Dragon Reach, Cormir, and Sembia proper. And for true criminals, Westgate too. The result is more than a hundred noble families, some incredibly wealthy and some impoverished, some truly influential and some just pretending to be. Here are some of the longer established old coin Sembian noble families, those calling themselves noble before the onset of the spell plague. Know you then the houses of Akanor, haughty, conservative, quiet, bankers and investors, Main residence, Selgot. Patriarch, Belros Alcanor. Barrow Dreamer, landlords and investors in local businesses, have lost most of their money and reputation thanks to working closely with the conquering Thaltansons and are now remembered only in Surd and in their main residence of Yon. Patriarch, Onstol, Barrow Dreamer, Beltarn, Marshal, make collect and sell magnificent armor and taut notch swords, own many wall sized paintings, fleet and warehouse owners, hire mercenaries, main resonance Serloon, Patriarch, Brazel Beltarn, Calandral, large scale landowners and suppliers of sundries, investors in the ventures of others have become fabulously wealthy and are now quietly buying land or city buildings all over Cormir. Main residence, Selgot. Patriarch, Ilmarant, Calandral. Dustan. Secretive and low profile, an austere family of misers who make large and small loans to Sembians and ruthlessly collect on time and every copper owing. Main residence, Serlu. Patriarch Morvrel Dostan. Harkanto. Horse breeders and horse sellers. Accomplished past as mercenaries, becoming widespread farm landowners in the Dales to get grazing land. Main residence, Ordulan. One of the few noble families who are unambitious and unpretentious. Matriarch Alvrana Flying Hair. Parkantel, Hilmehaven, sponsors of builders and stonemasons, owners of Thunder Peaks quarries, main residence Serb, matriarch Old Thunder, Thalassola, Hilmehaven, Horstanith, makers of casks, crates, and coffers, warehousers, within Sembia, fast shippers. Owners of cargo escort and warehouse guard services. Main residence, Yawn. Matriarch, Sorara, Storm Mother, Horstanith. Il Krimeth. Arrogant, vicious, ruthless landlords who provide spying services and fast makeover urban property rebuilds. Stupendously wealthy and provide secret loans, but stiff collateral is required. Main residence, Selgoth. Patriarch, Ravarandros the Rat, Ur Kremeth. Ithivisk. Shippers and investors fell on hard times through bad investments and working too closely with the conquering Sultansons, but have rebounded by fronting for criminal outlander smugglers, slavers, and dealers in stolen goods from Westgate and the Zentrum and the Cult of the Dragon. Main residence, Selgaunt. Patriarch, Archwort, the Smiling, Ithivisk. Kremond. Numerous, high profile, politically active, widespread across the Heartlands family who always buy local real estate and so 
have, along the trade routes, chains of farms, inns, smithies, and wagon works businesses. Main residence, Ermlaspir. Patriarch, Carveles Coldhand, Kremen. Kailantor, conservative, quiet fashion plates who own many weaving, clothes making, corvaser, food making, and fashion, leatherwork businesses and sell expensive garments all across the heartlands and beyond. Very wealthy. Main residence, Selgot. Matriarch, Flamalera, Mother Flame, Kailantor. Melvine, conservative, haughty owners of painting, that walls and trim, painting that is, and dyeing, textiles, businesses, fallen in wealth due to losses during the Thultansen occupation. And that, plus previous rumors, has led to their reputation fading. Main residence, Selgot. Patriarch, Galahandro Melvin. Olandor. Numerous, high-profile, politically active, astute negotiators who firmly believe that Sembian leadership benefits everyone. And if heeded, will result in much better lives for all with prosperity everywhere and peace except at, quote, the fringes of civilization where monsters must be battled and the downtrodden can make heroes of themselves as mercenary adventurers, uh, if they prevail, <laughs> have been quietly buying warehouses and paddocks everywhere along the Heartland's trade routes when they can, and assembling and training their own private cavalry property guards in all such locations. Main residence, Ermlaspir, Patriarch Mervandran Olandor, Orvrant, haughty, hold grudges, landlords and investors with a reputation for assassinations, befalling any who cross them, powerful within Sembia and feared by the workers, shopkeepers and crafters of the land, quietly offer kidnapping and safe conveyance unseen services for individuals fleeing justice feuds or foes, very wealthy, known for paying attention to small details, which means, of course, have extensive spies. Main residence, Serlun, Patriarch, Volfor, Old Weasel, Orvrot, Ravensword, mercenaries, outfitters, horse breeders and horse sellers, sellers of bulk weapons, and they own arms training and training in war riding businesses trusted to keep to all bargains, even to the death. Main residence, Serb. Patriarch, Alavandros, Old Helm, Ravensword. Ryland, conservative, old money, avoid political leadership, but skilled diplomats, accountants, and scribes. Trusted by many, a large family that scattered everywhere in Sembia, all of them well-to-do because they loan each other funds constantly back and forth so they can always take advantage of sure investment opportunities. Main residence, Ordulan. Patriarch, Galaheros, Ryland. Zelbazar. Shippers, merchant fleet owners, shipbuilders, very wealthy. Low profile, hard workers with no arrogance, beloved by those who work for them. Main residence, Yawn. Patriarch, Vabrant, Zazalabar. Selandover, gourmands and feast throwers, known for good food and wild revelry, vintners and sellers of bulk wine and fortified wines across the heartlands, spend lavishly but live well, main residence, Selgot, patriarch, old Revan, old paunch, Selandover, Sorgil, old coin, haughty family who demand deference and these days mostly don't get it. Wealthy landowners, cattle breeders, sellers and traders, lumber and shipping interests, shipbuilding and shipping fleet owners, main residence Selgot, Patriarch Rorson Sorgil, the fourth, Stormweather, a recent offshoot of the Uskevran noble family who repudiated the old feuds and interests of the Uskevrans, descended from the half-elf twins Lerigin and Lifander, dealers in fine furniture, statues and statuettes, tapestries and carved ornate doors 
fronting for many Sembian, Dalelands, and Cormirian crafters. They're poor for nobles, main residents or Dulin, Matriarch, Lamavara, Stormweather, Talendar, the oldest, haughtiest noble family of Sembia, large landowners in Sembia and the Dales, owners of several fine furniture making businesses, coach builders, and makers of doors and facades, longtime firm foes of the Uskevrans, very wealthy, main resident Selgot, Patriarch Varantrin Talendar, Taranter. Cargo escorts and warehouse and caravan and bodyguard services for centuries, recently diversifying into plumbing, roofing, and paving. Main residence, Yawn. Patriarch, Aravaland, Taranter. Tescamparos. Shipbuilders, sailmakers, and naval outfitters. Owner of merchant fleet and warship fleet. A long-time naval powerhouse rents out warships to other inner sea rulers, stupendously wealthy but avoids politics and keeps a low public profile, long rumored to make private deals with pirates. Main residence Tulbeg, Patriarch Selvros Stormwind, Tethkamparos, Uskevran. Fortunes recently rebuilt through an energetic program of being outfitters and Sembian and hosts with guarded paddocks and warehouses of outlander trading costers and short-run caravan companies operating between Sembia and Cormir, the Dales and the Moon Sea. Main resident Selgot, Patriarch Tavalandalalar, Uskevran, Wailm. Numerous, arrogant, firmly believe in their own superiority, giving them the right to dictate and rule. Landlords and builders own forester, road building, farm irrigation, and fencing, uh, fencing as in farm fencing, businesses and quarrying operations. Very wealthy, main residence Serb, patriarch, world, warts, whale, yontel, investors and shippers, known for moving their money around constantly to make a little here and a lot there. High fashion and high society, but avoid politics. Main resident Selgot, matriarch Varela the Beautiful, or matchless beauty, Yontel, Zondil, landlords and urban property owners, known for well behavior and laws don't apply to us, with numerous duels, dabblings in fell magic, and deals with warlocks, often called brats by other Sambians. Some relatives publicly split from them and declared themselves a different, distinct family, House Zondammer. Main resident Selgod, Patriarch Elzoral Deadly Blade, Zondil, Zondammer. Caravan shippers, wagon makers, and dealers in perfumes, medicines, and poisons recently spurned their parent house of Zondil for the bad behavior of the Zondils and declared themselves their own house in their own right. Relatively poor for nobility, main residence or Dulin, matriarch Ailes Little Queen Zondammer. One note regarding the roster given here. You would be unwise to refer to any of the matriarchs or patriarchs of these noble houses by their nicknames in their hearing. Even in the rare instances when such monikers are flattering, it presumes a familiarity they wouldn't, won't hesitate to punish if they can. And thanks to the clarion call of coin, the reach of Sembian nobles is long indeed and getting ever longer. Hi, welcome back to Realm Speak, and this time around we're doing this. Lacedon or Lacedon, either one is correct. Lacedon, Lacedon. Marine ghouls. You don't like ghouls on land and they stink of rotting flesh? Well, the stink isn't as bad when you're underwater, but you don't want to be anywhere near their claws and teeth anyway. Lacedon, marine ghouls. Not nice people. We're good. We can wait two seconds. Nobles, nobles everywhere. Script. Yeah. By the way, something went. Yeah, yeah. It's my internal ND filters. Oh yeah, we're good. 
All right, we're good? Yeah. All righty. No, you're good. <clears throat>